Dear friends, it's Father Elijah speaking to you from the temple of the Queen of the Lilies in San Giorgio Cremano, Naples, Italy. I'd like to let you know that the next December 20th, 2011, a year-long celebration in occasion of the centenary anniversary of the Mother Lilian of Paradise birth will be open. In fact, she was born on December 20th, 1911, in Venosa, Basilicata, Italy. In that occasion, we will have the joy to have with us the Cardinal of Naples, His Eminence Crescenzo Sepe, who will preside the co-celebration at 6 p.m. By the way, my friends, the images you are watching now running on the screen refer to the consecration of the Temple to Christ, the Redeemer, in honor of the White Queen of the Lilies, during a solemn co-celebration held on June 14, 2008, in occasion of the centenary anniversary of the Sister Teresina of Obedient Jesus' birth, first disciple of Mother Lilian of Paradise. As you can see, His Eminence, the Cardinal of Naples, Crescenzo Sepe, presided the celebration. You know, my friends, the whole life of Mother Lilian of Paradise, the founders of the Society of the Queen of the Lilies, could be resumed with her same words. My reason of life, she used to say, is the message of purity of the White Queen of the Lilies. And everybody, I guess, can agree about the importance and the need that the world and the Church have of this great and unfortunately neglected nowadays virtue of purity. And addressing to Mary, the Mother of God, once she wrote, As in Lourdes and in Fatima, your mother, my sweet Queen of the Lilies, asked for penance, penance, so now, from everybody, but especially from consecrated people and from your sons, the priests, you ask for purity, purity. i like to invite you, my friends, to participate in some way to this year-long celebration, which will be closed on December 20th, 2012, praying God for the intercession of the White Queen of the Lilies to grant, in His abounding love, the gift of purity that the world and the Church need. Thank you. And bye for now. God bless you always.